Wonder one star guys, look at number one, a can of soup, shape of a cylinder, diameter of the base is 3.4 inches, and the height is three or is 4.5 inches. What's the volume? So we have a cylinder, something like that. We know that the diameter is 3.4. So we want to find the volume. So we start with our formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height. And the area of the base it is a circle. So it's pi times radius squared. So the area of the base is three point one four. The radius, well if the diameter is three point four, we need to half that for the radius. So it'd be one point seven squared. So the area of the base is and you have to do three point one four times 1.7 and I would just do times 1.7 again you get 9.0746 and we're going to keep that whole thing we're not going to round um, uh, unless we have to at the end so this is the area of the base so we plug that in for the area of the base so volume equals 9.0746 times the height of the prism. Well, the height of the can is 4.5. So the height is 4.5. That's the height of the prism. The height of the can, 4.5. So the volume is, I'm going to do 9.0746 times 4.5. We get 40. Point eight three five seven. Forty point eight three five seven. So the answer to number one is B. Forty point eight four. On to number two. Regulation bowling ball has a diameter of eight point five inches. What's the volume of the bowling ball? Well, the volume uh, of the bowling, bowling ball is a sphere, so we're going to volume equals 4 thirds pi times radius cubed. So formula, now we just substitute volume equals 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius. Well, if the diameter is 8.4, we need half of that. So, or I'm sorry, 8.5 divided by 2 is 4.25. And we're going to need to cube that. So now we just multiply it out. Um, 4 thirds, I would put this all over 1. And at the end, we're going to divide by 3. So just multiply across the top. So we'd have 4 times 3.14 times 4.25 times 4.25 times 4.25. And we get a, a nice big number, but we are going to plug that in. 964.17625. So we get when we multiply it all the way across. And now we have to divide that number by 3 and we get volume is 321.3920833 so when we round that because obviously we're gonna have to uh, the answer number two is D